Hello everybody, it's Iron Skate for how you guys are doing today. I am doing great, so as you can tell by the title, I found my old asthma machine. I used to have asthma as a kid, and this was before inhalers were cheaply made. Because later on, I did get prescribed an inhaler, but before then, I had the Prone, the Prone B compressor and nebulizer system. So yeah, that, that's what this looks like. So basically, the air would come through here, out of this hole here. Uh, there's the filter. Then, of course, I had this very, very long tube that you would take this end here. We're going to plug it in like that, make sure it's nice and smug. Then we got this end. Now, this end goes into the medical device here and of course you open it up you put the liquid medicine in here it still kind of smells like the medicine like I, I can still smell it it's um it's kind of like a sweet and musky smell like that's how I should remember the medicine was a sweet mes musky smell so it wasn't like a bad smell it was it was actually pleasant and I had to be hooked up to this thing for 30 minutes every single day of my childhood. So this this is this right here was I got this back in the 90s, back when um, I remember my I was in first grade, <coughs> so about 99 when we got this. And again, here's this. You just take the tube. You place it in through this. Make sure you get it a nice firm suction. And then that's that. And then of course you have the little itty bitty breathing uh, nose thing. And with this, it just kind of goes on this end here. Kind of like that. And then let's see. I wonder if it still fits me. Let's see. Let's see. Of course, I did not have glasses back when we first got this. I didn't get glasses until I want to say middle school. Wow. It, it's it still fits. <laughs> and so what this thing does is it pumps air through with the medicine filled up in here. And it vaporizes it, and then it comes through here, and then I breathe it in. I had to do, I was like this for 30 minutes straight. I could not take a break. If I did, I had to restart everything. And this is fogging up my glasses. <laughs> uh, this, this thing brings back a, a lot of flashbacks and a lot of memories. Because I can remember sitting, like, right there, right there where my foot sat. I had a box TV right there. And I was playing Army Men, Sarge's Heroes, and I could just remember that being hooked up to the machine, playing the, the Nintendo 64, waiting for this machine to be done, doing what it was doing. <laughs> and then I can remember one time I was at, like, the Ozarks, where my grandparents used to live at, and I remember I had my best friend over and wanted to go swimming, but I, we couldn't because, well, he could, I couldn't because I had to do this thing for 30 minutes. And it, it really sucked. <laughs> because for 30 minutes, I couldn't do anything. Just sit where I was and that, that, that was it. And just breathe. Breathe in this stuff. Uh, it, it was interesting. I mean, this thing is actually very, very loud. I don't want to turn it, plug it up and turn it on. I wonder if it actually does still work. We were going to give it to my grandmother, but she actually found a newer one. So I'm going with the newer models, look of the uh, Prone B. I wonder if Prone B is even still around. Like, I wonder if they still make these, but newer. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But this right here, this thing, was a humongous part of my childhood. And like I said, this was back when inhalers weren't really popular. They were very expensive. I mean, some are still are, but this was back in, like I said, 99. 98 possibly, maybe 2000, uh, so they weren't that widely available, but 
later on in elementary school, about fourth grade, I had to have an inhaler. So that's when I got upgraded to the inhaler because they were actually starting to become cheaper. But um, yeah, so this this thing right here, the Brome B compressed nasalizer. This this was my childhood. And it's got this nice little carrying handle, and it came with the uh, with a spare tube that's never been used. <laughs> but this this is the whole setup. Like I said, I had to have this thing on for 30 minutes every single day of my childhood. Uh, it, it really makes you appreciate the inhalers when they had them. Because that I could just shake, do three times, and I'm done. I don't know where my inhaler's at anymore. Like, I actually had, I actually grew out of it. And they actually said I might have bronchitis, but... That was a one-time discussion, and they never brought it back up, so I guess I didn't have bronchitis, but they thought I did for the longest time, so that's why they put me on this machine and the inhaler. But that right there is medical device from the past that I felt sorry for. I feel sorry for any kid like me that had to waste 30 minutes of their life hooked up to that machine. Because, like I said, inhalers weren't around that much. They were very expensive, and this was actually the cheaper option. So this this just brings back so much. Like, I'm actually getting flashbacks. I can see little images in the back of my head now of me actually just sitting around and just using this. So it, it just brings back some powerful memories. And when I found this in our closet, I'm looking at it like... Wait a second, I've seen that before. What what is that? And then it clicked like, oh my god, that's that's my old asthma machine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this this little device defined my whole entire childhood. <laughs> and I thought my parents threw it away, because like I said, this was 98, 99, maybe 2000. So I mean I've had this thing for a long time. And like I said, I wonder if it even still works. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, seeing some of the stuff from my past that impacted my childhood tremendously. And if you want to see me do more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. And as always, please subscribe, leave comments, and as always, have a nice day. Live, love, game on. Peace.